Hello everyone, nice to meet you. I'm Uk Jun Song, working at Seoul National University of Science and Technology, Seoul, Korea. Chapter 6 is about the e-government interoperability and standard framework. Through this lecture, learners understand the importance of the e-government interoperability and standard framework as an infrastructure to build on e-government and look into the main contents and cases of e frame in Korea. This chapter is consists of three parts. First, a view of the e-government interoperability and standard framework. Second, main contents of e frame in Korea. Third, case studies of e frame in Korea. As each different government department provided e-government services, the quality of administrative services continually improved. However, because the main information systems in the country were built on the development basis of specific companies, the systems had become subordinate to those companies. It had led to increases in cost due to developments of identical systems and worked as an obstacle to participation in bidding by small businesses lacking in technological skills. In order to solve these problems, the government promoted establishment of an e-government standard framework. The e-government standard framework standardized the development framework required for establishment and operation of information systems in the public sector by engineering of the basic environment and common modules needed for the related software development in advance. Standardization of the development framework was promoted in order to strengthen the interoperability of information systems and prevent them from being technologically dependent on only certain companies, thus increasing the possibilities for small and medium-sized businesses to participate in the information industry. When using the e-government standard framework to build an information system, common modules, as the components, are reused, and individual service-specific functions are developed on their own in the infrastructure provided by the standard framework, leading to increased interoperability and avoiding the subordination of certain technologies to specific companies only. For example, consider the situation in which the government builds the eSoram, G4B service, MinWan24, and mobile parking system shown in the figure. In the absence of a standard framework, the system developer must develop the basic environment and functional modules required for each system separately. However, if there is a standard framework, the developer can combine common modules in the basic environment according to the standard framework. Let me briefly summarize the advantages of using software framework as follows. First, productivity. It provides built-in functionalities, so it reduces the overall development effort and time. If you decide to write everything from scratch, it will take longer for a new team member to understand your custom code in detail. In a nutshell, using the framework simplifies and speeds up the development process significantly. Secondly, it increases component reusability. Thirdly, it increases interoperability by using standard interface, and it brings low maintenance. Lastly, quality. It allows the applications to be implemented in a standard structure so framework can help establish better programming practices and appropriate use of design patterns. eGov Frame is a standardized SW framework for holistic e-government in Korea. System developers can build e-government system more efficiently and effectively through the composition of eGov Frame and new functions under the SW standard frame. It is like a steel structure in a building, and common components like windows, doors, lights, and doorknobs. It allows you to build high-quality e-government services at low cost. It provides predefined core functions written in Java platform so you can put the common components into your system and then add your code to make a greater functionality upon them. It makes you to focus on your own business logic. In the past, the system had to be developed from scratch, including login, authentication, database connection and transaction, and so on. But now, unlike the complicated procedures of traditional development methods, 
eGov frame can provide common reusable components, such as login, authentication, and various utilities. The framework also provides support for database connectivity, transaction, and log processing. eGov frame helps you to focus on your business logic to increase the productivity and quality and to reduce costs by reducing schedules. According to the case study analysis of eGov frame, the development productivity increased by more than 30% when using eGov frame. On the left side, it shows service without software framework. On the right side, it shows service with framework. In terms of G2G, government to government, eGov frame ensures interoperability, which is necessary for information sharing and interlinkage among agencies by constructing the application based on eGov frame. This improves interagency collaboration. In terms of G4C, eGov frame provides standardized screen and interface for various e-government. Easy implementation of interlinkage among e-government systems increases levels of public satisfaction by offering one-stop service that was unavailable in the previous system because respective government agencies offered different service. In the G4B domain, e-government implementation providers are now able to improve their core competencies, technological capabilities, and productivity by utilizing eGov frame. The project also promotes strengthening SME's competitiveness by offering an equal change of bidding for e-government project to various companies, such as SMEs, solution providers, and venture companies. So the Korean government has introduced the concept of open innovation as a strategy for building a successful e-gov frame. We went through the following four steps to achieve our goals. We verified and selected open sources as the first step, and then reflected on the opinions of the relevant parties as the second step. The third step is open outputs. All the source codes and intellectual property rights, as known as IPRs, are released to the public free of charge. The fourth step is open ecosystem. We established the eGov Frame Center for the voluntary use and diffusion of eGov Frame and technical support. Let me explain about the concept of open innovation. The term open innovation is a business concept or paradigm developed by Henry Cheesebro. The basic idea is that companies cannot afford to rely entirely on their own ideas. Instead, companies should use external ideas as well as internal ideas in order to go beyond their capabilities and resources. External sources of innovation could be customers, rival companies, and academic institutions. From now on, I'll explain it one by one, starting with open sourcing. The first step is open sourcing. Eleven large and medium-sized enterprises participated and shared their knowledge to develop eGov Frame. We have defined basic functions and structures. It has gone through the process of defining an open source selection policy. We have assessed 175 candidate open sources and carried out the logical and physical test. Finally, 48 open sources have been selected as the major open sources. The second step is open process. Opinions from 500 people were collected through 20 sessions of industry. A wide range of opinions and various issues were taken into account. The third step is the open outputs. All of the source codes, including outputs, are provided free of charge. You can download all of the source codes at the portal site, eng.egovframe.go.kr. Roughly 10,000 developers have been trained so far. More than 800 projects have adopted eGov Frame. Approximately 800,000 downloads have been recorded as of last month. For these reasons, we received awards in three categories of the Future Gov Awards in 2010 and one CMMI certificate. The fourth step is Open Ecosystem. We have formed an open community in which large and small enterprises participate. The main purpose of open community is to encourage the developers to increase the use of eGov Frame. The figure explains about the eGovernment Standard Framework Organization. 
The common components include common functions that are reusable in the development of web-based application software in e-government projects, and a common component for mobile web-based services. The execution environment performs the function of supporting easier standardization, for example, of screen, business, and data processing during business program development. The development environment comprises various tools that offer convenience and efficiency to developers in software development. The management environment provides the functions of managing technical support requests and application statuses. The operating environment consists of communication tools for system operation and tools for monitoring of information systems based on the standard framework. In addition, the government provides mobile execution and development environments founded on mobile website templates so that developers can utilize users' experiences and application programming interfaces for the implementation of mobile environment-based public services. eGovFrame has been applied to mission-critical projects with improved delivery of public services, like administration, transportation, military, customs, media. Over 62% of public IT systems in Korea have been developed based on eGovFrame. eGovFrame has been applied to e-government services worldwide promoting global cooperation, which were 25 e-government projects in 11 countries. Let's take a look at the big data-based Smart Farming System. Smart Farming System had been developed to improve the productivity of farms and to develop a big data-based consulting system for farming. Smart farming is a concept of farming management using modern information and communication technologies to increase the quantity and quality of products. Among the technologies available for present-day farmers, there are 1. Sensing technologies, including soil scanning, water, light, humidity, temperature management. 2. Software applications, specialized software solutions that target specific farm types. Three, communication technologies, such as cellular communication. Four, positioning technologies, including GPS. Five, hardware and software systems that enable IoT-based solutions, robotics and automation. And six, data analytics that underlies the decision-making and prediction processes. It was built in three different application systems, which provide remote control and monitoring of smart farms, consulting services, and management of farms. Raw data, like temperature, humidity, and rainfall, can be collected and analyzed through all kinds of automatic sensors on target farmland. In addition, these data can be analyzed to derive optimal raw environmental conditions for each crop. There are three types of users, farmers, consultants, and rural promotion officials. Farmers can operate and monitor smart farm equipment through wireless farming sensors. Consultants can provide a professional consulting service based on historical data collected from the farmhouse. Rural promotion officials can efficiently support four smart farms and conduct research, guidance, and consulting based on accumulated historical data. As you can see in this software diagram, the eGov frame execution environment has been applied on the web application server. They were able to reduce costs by reusing 30 common components, general login and certificate login for user authentication, bulletin boards and community management for collaboration, and knowledge management for digital asset management. They also used calendar, format conversion, validation check in utility common components. 15 of the 42 menus were applied with common components to increase the development productivity. There were also cost savings in setting up development standards. The eGovFrame adoption was able to eliminate dependencies on business and operations. eGovFrame, Korea's SW standard framework, played a key role in successfully establishing the Korean e-government system. eGovFrame has reduced redundant development cost and time by reusing common components, has resolved dependency through standardized development of open sources base, has improved SEM's competitiveness 
by sharing the open SW framework with no cost, has ensured convenient maintenance through modularization by providing standard, has enhanced interoperability between systems via standardized framework.